early next week. Still holding out for the little leprechaun to make a make a change, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, dessert for some of us. The most important part of the meal is Chef Jonathan Searles here with a recipe for butterscotch pudding, toffee sorghum crunch, and vanilla whip. I am. Yum. And I kind of thought since yesterday was pie day, a yeah. little bit late, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about our buttermilk pudding that we're doing. Okay. So we'll start with that one, actually. Okay. This is kind of an old southern style uh, recipe, uh, buttermilk, a uh, custard pie, sugar pie. These were pies that were done when in the winter time, a lot of times when there wasn't a lot of fruits and other things exactly. around. So it was kind of a, a resourceful pie. And I loved that and loved the idea of putting that on a menu here in central Kentucky. Okay. And so what we did with this one, it's a traditional buttermilk pie, baked until the custard is set and then chilled until firm. And then you pull it out, we put together a coconut whipped cream where we take tr or just regular heavy cream and whip it with a little sugar, but the top off with some coconut, mm -hmm. coconut milk, so that we get a little of that flavor there from that. But now tell me, this custard, can I get that already prepared or do I need to try to make that myself? You can get it prepared or you can try to make it yourself. Is it hard? To it do? is not hard. It's okay. just about a little bit of patience. <laughs> and that goes a long way. Oh my goodness. So okay. we put that on there and have a little fun with I like to have a little fun with the of dots. Uh, we call them duders in the kitchen. <laughs> the cooks get a <laughs> kick out of that. I've, okay. roast, I've roasted a little pineapple here. Awesome. Um, the sugars kind of caramelize and give it this really fun, deep flavor. It almost gets a little boozy like rum, honestly, when you get going on it. Okay. Um, after that, we give a nice little bit of this here toasted Coconut, coconut gives yeah. a savory kind of toasty crunch to it. Okay. And finally, we've got a little bit of lime, lime zest. zest. Kind of brings it up, wakes it up, gives it some pop and some nice color. Right. Kind of a brighter, uh, non-traditional aspect Instead way of, of looking lemon. at that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no I don't know if you'd like to give that a try there for us. You want me to give you a try here? Like, let's see. Mmm. Not bad, right? Delicious. Very, yeah. very good. Okay, let's try the next one. All right, I've also got a butter, butterscotch pudding I've done for us here today. Okay. This is my favorite pudding. I kind of look at this as the sophisticated or the adult version of pudding versus okay. just your traditional chocolates. And whatnot. Right. <laughs> um, we've built the pudding, and then I've kind of taken sorghum. So sorghum is a sugar, uh, grass that's used for the sugars, and uh, that's how we make our sorghum syrup. Or but what we do is wait till the, the sorghum grass seeds, and we take these seeds here, right these there. little tiny seeds, yeah. Okay. And we pop those just like you would popcorn uh, in a pan, and you're you get little me. tiny pieces of popcorn, basically. Okay. And then almost Does like it you're making. Like popcorn? Can yeah, I it taste? tastes just like popcorn. So just like you would do with caramel corn, we do with a toffee oh. corn. So we make toffee popped sorghum. Okay. Crush it up, and that's what you get there. Okay. And we put that on a nice layer to add a nice crunchy texture and saltiness to the pudding, and then just a big dollop of vanilla whipped cream because everything's better with a little more whipped cream to yeah, me. This is true. This is true. This is outstanding. Now, do you serve these at the restaurant? Yes, both of these are on our menu right now at the restaurant. And so anything special for St. Patty's Day that you guys are going to be doing? Uh, not right now, but uh, it's all it's all waiting to unfold. So we'll see what we have come Thursday. Do you think a lot of people are starting to go back into the kitchen and make their own homemade desserts? Because even the pie crust looks like it's homemade. Oh, it I is. remember like pinching it with my grandmother when see, I was a little girl. I, I, I just think that that's the best way to approach it now, like taking it back, whether it be preserving things, making your own pie crust from hand, like all these things, if people aren't doing at home, I know that they can taste the difference and they want to eat it. So we give it to them and really push people to uh, get back to the kitchen. Indeed, indeed. And so now all of these different ingredients we can find at the local, I guess, grocery or? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, th the pie is mostly just cream and eggs and sugar and a little lemon zest, uh, flour and butter, and you're, you're set to go. How long am I leaving it in the oven now? About 45 minutes till, okay. it, till it jiggles, but it's just, but it's a little set there. My grandmother used to talk about putting like a, a toothpick in there to see, and then you pull it out and you see if anything's going to that, That'll help too. Oh, that's old fashioned. Lockbox though is located inside 21C Museum Hotel. For more information or to make reservations, give them a call at 859-899-6860 or log on to lockboxlex.com because sometimes dessert is the most important meal of the day, right? Yeah, it is. All right, Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks so very much. And we're going to take a quick break and come back with our pet of the day. <laughs> 